I played in, in G8 at Arkansas for two Hall of Fame guys, uh, Lou Holtz and Ken Hatfield, two completely different personalities, but two Hall of Famers. And uh, I've had the good fortune to be around a lot of those kind of guys, the Hall of Fame type football coaches, guys uh, that know how to motivate, guys that know how to X and O, guys that know how to recruit, and really the, the, the cream of the crop. Uh, later down the line in my career, I was fortunate enough to be a Joe Novak at Northern Illinois, and he resurrected that program from the dead. I mean, he had as bad a bunch of characters that he inherited in that program. He cleaned it all up, weeded all the bad guys out, and uh, kind of got that thing started where it is today. He got it rolling and made it an elite program, uh, an Orange Bowl team three or four years ago, and a lot of that is due to him. I don't know that he's in the Hall of Fame, but in my book, he's a, he's a Hall of Fame kind of guy. Uh, was around Bill Curry at Georgia State, who played uh, for Vince Lombardi and Don Shula, uh, played for uh, Bobby Dodd at Georgia Tech, and uh, was ACC Coach of the Year, SEC Coach of the Year, and uh, have been blessed along those lines. When I had the good fortune to uh, uh, have the opportunity to come here, that certainly was one of the attractions for me. Uh, Mark Farley, Coach Simmons, and I were talking the other day. Uh, he is not in the Hall of Fame right now, but he's headed that direction. He's a Hall of Fame type coach. When you have the type of sustained success that he has had over his career, you know, it's one thing to, to, to win, have a good season, then have another good season, maybe a third season. Uh, it, it's, it, it, that is a heck of a lot easier to, to, ha to have some success than have sustained success. And that's what separates the great ones from the Hall of Famers. So that was certainly an attraction to me. This is my third go around in this league. I was at uh, Southwest Missouri State, which is now Missouri State. Uh, was at Southwest back in the late 80s and have been in this building and know firsthand what it's like to come in this building and play when it's loud. And uh, we always knew that we were gonna have our work cut out for us because we knew we were gonna be in for a physical 60 minute fight. And if we ha were gonna have any hope to win, um, we knew we better be ready to be strapped up and ready to go. The late 90s, I was at Illinois State. The last time I was in the Uni Dome in a real football game was in 1999. We brought the Illinois State football team in here. But those were really the two things that really attracted me to Northern Iowa. Uh, excited to be here. I think we have enough talented football players that uh, I think we can have about as good a season as our players in their hearts. You know, how, how, however bad and however uh, uh, much they want to win, I think we have certainly have the talent to, to go about as far as, as, as those guys want to take us.